Hello, welcome to me, Prison Times on Linux. <clears throat> I thought today we would have a look at this. Hang on, I'm just going to make sure I don't have any more. No, I don't. <clears throat> and how much RAM does it take to run PC Linux OS Trinity? Why? Because I was bored. So, at the moment I got it set to 320 megabytes, but let's take this down to 64 and see what happens this is all just for shits and giggles I'm not expecting anything actually so uh, what I mind by run I mean run smoothly rather than anything else ok I've got um, edge memory before I even start so that is not going to be a fun time let's power that off we'll go back into the settings and uh, storage oh sorry system one more down storage for and we'll we'll increase that to 128 so we've doubled the RAM right we've doubled the RAM in one fell swoop let's see if we can boot that and let's see if we get out of memory well no she's actually booting and she's got to the um Display manager quite fast here. Quite happy with that so far. But what is she like when she has booted fully? To uh, a GUI. Now I think I might have screwed up there with. Uh, I did. I screwed up with a password. Okay, so we'll boot it and unboot it. Um, actually what I will do is make this full screen being as um, I'm not streaming and yeah that kind of thing happens but she is trying to bless her booting 128 megabytes this is not gigabytes of RAM I wish I did have 128 gigabytes of RAM I will be working, working a lot more visualizations as you see here so so far we have the panel come up with jack shit on it uh, the wallpaper's up, the icons are now up on the old desktop. Uh, clocks appeared, the quick start icons have appeared, but we've got nothing in the sys tray apart from the clock. And my fans are starting to spin it, which means the hard drive is probably getting a bit leathered. Or rather, my CPU is. Cool. So, um, I'll add this a bit a few more, I think. So it brings up the uh, icons in the sys tray. So we can get to a sort of desktop on 128 meg, which isn't really useful. Um, yeah, everything is sluggish. As you can see, I've, I clicked that about a second or so ago and it didn't do the animation for at least a second, second and a half or whatever. Uh, so let me get to the menu of the terminal because I have a little menu underneath the terminal let me go to root shell or whatever there we go we're at the shell so let me click shell and see if conqueror will come up and we'll see exactly what we're using in the uh, RAM and swap departments uh, once it's up if it comes up as you can see it's just bringing up the sys tray icons now I do see the clipboard icon down there. Yeah. Clipboard icon, power save and uh, TDE R and R and the K mix is alive. Okay, we might get a bit of music, but we're still waiting for the terminal to come up peeps. And here she is the terminal, although without any uh, window decoration. There's the window decoration, there is the um And the OFS is scrolling up and we get to 85 megabytes, that's 109 uh, out of the, what did I call it, 128. So it's using 18 megabytes for something, do not know what. So HTOP, see what HTOP says. So I'm, I'm running to swap quite badly here, 209 megs to swap, 210 megs to swap, 211, so on and so forth. So we can say what 220 megs so far swap 
I'm just letting it go for a minute. As you can see, my CPU is getting belted with a, a load of five. So this isn't what we would call ideal. So we'll just power off the virtual machine because, yeah, it doesn't really matter. It's a virtual machine, right? If I break it, I can always rebuild it. So we'll take, we'll double the base memory again. We'll double the base memory again, make it 256 meg, right? So uh, just go across one. Oops. Oh no, that's too far. Yeah, 256 is the next increment of by lux. 256 meg. And we'll do the same again. We'll boot it up. Again in full screen mode. We know it beats 128, so we know we'll see a display of some sort at 256. But I'm interested to know where the base is, so I don't need to run swap. So I've just logged in here, and it will full screen itself. Now we'll just wait for case splash to do its thing while the background stuff is going. Okay, so we've got the icons on the desktop. As you can see, I have sound, and the icons have appeared on the uh, tray. Taskbar looks all normal, and what we'll do is we'll do what we've done before. Well, it, it was a lot faster with double the RAM to get the shell going. So, let's see what she says she's using now. She said, pause at the uptime for a second. And she's trading 194 out of 235, but as we all know, that does not tell the whole story. We are still running into a swap at the tune of, say, 155, 156 meg, I assume. And the load is down, it's no longer 5. Um, I see the load going up, now the load's actually dropping, isn't it? So the load's dropping. <coughs> I went in for 160 odd meg of RAM so far. For swap, which isn't too bad. Right at this point, I'm wondering if we can run anything like a web browser. In fact, what I will do is I will leave con H top running actually. Let's bring that over here. Uh, let's see what happens when we invoke a web browser. I've only got Brave installed on this. Well, I do have Conqueror as well, but when install Brave. As you can see, like, everything's getting battered around. And see, Brave does actually come up, and it does. Surprisingly does. Uh, remember, I've only got two and a half, or sorry, two and three quarter gig of space for... Oops, I'm hitting the help buttons and all that. Stop it. So, it's not the piece of Linux OS forum and my website. So, okay. Which is the standard config for Brave as I've released it. Um, I do want a third top actually going to the uh, weekly. PC Linux OS weekly. I should do that don't you think. And I've still got to do this by the way. Uh, I've been a bit of a lazy chap but you can see the web page loads. Web page has loaded. Um, not quite sure how useful this would be, but it's sluggish, very sluggish by the way, but that is fine, but yes, Brave will come up, and I'm using 390 give or take, mega slot space, and 170 odd of uh, RAM, and a load of 3.2 on the old processors, okay, so we'll kill that off, and again we'll just do a rough shutdown, I know for those people running on things that you don't just do it off shut down, I am because I'm being impatient. So we'll go back to system. <coughs> Give a 300 and I do believe 320 or roughly is the next one, isn't it? Yeah, 320 is the next market. So we haven't dulled around this time. Well started. Uh, what is this to prove? Nothing really. I, I was just uh, inquisitive in myself as to what she can take. Uh, by the way, this is running uh, the LTS 419 kernel. Okay, so the splash screen comes up a bit quicker. 
have to log in here. You can see all the icons have appeared at the bottom there. Let's see what this is saying now. Okay, up to 33 seconds, come on, 35, 36, 37, all that. 247 out of 297. Again, we'll be running into swap, I think. Yes, we are to tune up 86 megabytes. Load is at 120. Not too bad. What happens when we bring up Mr. Brave? <laughs> Apart from getting the CPU punished. Uh, there's two instances of Brave, one for each tab, of course. So, let's see if it's usable. Well, it is if you don't mind waiting for apps to load. And Brave is just loading now. We'll move that over. Uh, the desktop is a bit more responsive, but there's still a delay between me doing something and it's not buttery smooth. Let, let's let's just put it that way, yeah? Uh, and But, yeah, alas, the websites are loading and we've gone into swap the tuner 330 meg or whatever. And 22 meg there. Okay. Let's um, close it. I'm not even going to bother waiting up, but you get the idea of what is happening. Plus we had a load of four. Okay, let's power off the machine. We'll go back into your settings. And poor operating system, getting beat to hell here. <laughs> but that is fine and fine. Okay, so... What if we all oh, going the wrong way? Three eight six. Let's let's go from there to half a gig. Five hundred and twelve. I can't imagine many sixty four bit machines having five hundred and twelve gig of RAM. But I'm just seeing how well it behaves at the end of the day. We are booted. Now system D boots fast as hell. Okay. Again, all the icons are appearing. Okay, we'll go to the shell again. Bit of 29 seconds. Right, we're using 308 megabytes out of 197. Are we still using swap? According to this, we are using a whole 7 megabytes of swap. We're nearly out of swap range territory where everything's quite happy. So let's see what happens when we load up the Brave Browser. Why am I using the Brave Browser? Well, I like Brave and, you know, web browsers are pretty heavy on resources. You can see that by the way the RAM's going up there and we're using Winter Swap for nearly 100 meg, 113 meg. But you can see that the websites have absolutely loaded like lightning this time in comparison with 256 or even 320 meg. Sorry, yeah. 256 meg or 120 meg so we are in the territory of where this is usable um, let me just bring that back up again now, as you can see it isn't taking too long to load in the after thing and to display yeah you know it's not jittering it's I think that's more or less usable Obviously you're not going to be using any flash sites at that and you are going to be running through a bit of swap. But 512 megabytes is absolutely usable, I think. Um, let's leave that up there. And let's use a bit more RAM. Let's let's load up a word processor, Mr. K-Office. Uh, sorry, K-Office? LibreOffice. LibreOffice writer is loading. Let's uh, bring that on top so we know what's happening. Yeah, we're getting to swap now. Serious swap. Uh, we'll go helping about. 6.403. That came up rather quick. And uh, can we type at normal speed? Well, my normal speed is, uh, you know. Uh, why not do it this way? 
Well, I, I see no lag in my typing. I'm not the greatest of typers, you know, so. But, yeah, that's, um, that's rather cool. Okay, so I'll do the same deal again. Let me close the browser properly. That's it. I'm not worried about console. We'll just kill it. So if we double again, why not? Oh, actually, no, it won't double again. Let's see if we 640 meg, 634, go to 640. There we go. See if 640 meg is enough for everyone. Yeah, <laughs> I know. I know. It's supposed to be 640k. Leave me alone. So, uh, yeah, we'll start that off. I thought I'd just play around with words a little bit, you know? I'm going with it to start up screen within so sort of like two and a half seconds, three seconds, something like that. It doesn't take long after the old um, group screen, that's for sure. Okay, we're in like fleeing. <coughs> we'll hit the old shell. Okay, so 317 out of 612, we should be out of swap territory by now, I should imagine. No, it's still saying it's using a 101. But maybe that's because of swappiness or something, it's easy to swap too soon. Maybe. But you can see the load average has gone down there to 0 0.64, 0 0.2, 0 0.07. Nothing much at all. Let's have a cup of the old brave. This loads fairly quickly, as you can see. My mind's now in the best anyway, but that's absolutely usable to me. Um, in fact, can we uh, watch any YouTube? So I'll get up YouTube. Yeah, I reckon so. Quite sure what I can use there. Let's have a quick look at Project Farm. Let's see if it's usable. It oh, yeah, it came up quite quick. I back full screen. Oh, it's taking its time, but it's got there. Meh, nothing wrong with that. I don't think. I think that went pretty successful myself. There was a load of his coming. So yeah, I would say, honestly, that a Giga RAM minimum. A Giga RAM minimum will give you a battery smooth. If you got any less, while you're running 64-bit anyway. And if you're on a gig while you're running 64-bit, it's only really useful for 4 gig and up. To be fair, uh, where 64-bit will come into its own, but yeah, absolutely no problem with that whatsoever. I will be testing um add one gig of RAM, one hundred and twenty four megabytes. None of this thousand to a megabyte BS here. Okay. Won't let it time out, hit the end screen, boom. Eight, four. Yeah, about seven seconds in it in all honesty to do boot screen to the uh, login screen rather rather than boot which is nothing really to complain about you know and then you got another few seconds of it after and go got the tick there for the sound I got internet and everything come up maybe I've been a bit too impatient before waiting but still yeah 325 meg out of a gig uh, we're on high top, and as you can see, with a gig of RAM, it's not even touching swap. I may do want to bring the old Webby Pros, so let's have a look. Yeah, we're just running to swap now, but uh, that's going to be buttery smooth like ever, all day long. Anyway, that concludes this video. I thought I'd just do it for giggles. 
and uh, yeah hope you enjoyed it if you liked the video thumbs up if you didn't thumbs down i'll do another one uh with open box but the full version rather than the mini and see how that behaves in the same situation we can roll out 64 megabytes regardless but trinity will boot 128 and up and of course the more ram you're ramming you have the quicker and more smooth it's going to be but you saw a gig of RAM, absolutely fine, 640 megabytes to be honest was fine, but why would you? Anyway, thank you for watching, if you liked the video thumbs up, if you didn't thumb me down, uh, subscribe, I'm on Patreon etc etc, take care and be good all.